What is up, Mathletes? Welcome back to the episode of Math with Dr. Math. And today in this mini lesson, we're just gonna look at how to change these decimals into fractions, all right? Because, man, that F word, people struggle with it so much. No, not that F word, fractions, right? So how do we turn a number like 0.25, how do we write it as a fraction? So that's the question, all right? And there's so many different ways of looking at this. And let me just talk through it to help you understand. All right, so if you've been struggling, you came to the right place. So we have 0.25 or 25 hundredths. So this is in the, that five is in the hundredths place, right? TH at the end. And what that means is we're taking that 25 and we're dividing it by 100. So there's so many different ways of looking at this. All right, so what we do is we're gonna take that 25 and then we're gonna divide it by some multiple of 10. And when I say multiple of 10, that means we're gonna divide it by, say, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so forth. And so what I wanna show you is notice, how many decimal places would I have to move this decimal to the right so that it's at the end, right? And so we could see we're gonna move it one, two decimal places to the right. So what that tells me, is that I'm gonna have two zeros. So you're gonna have a zero for every time you move that decimal place over to the right, all right? So we have one, two zeros, and that's how we get that 100 on the bottom. So again, there's so many different ways of thinking about this. This is just one that I see my students have the easiest time understanding and remembering. And then from here, um, we could reduce it, but this is how you write it as a decimal, right? It's that easy. So if you wanted, we could simplify this. Luckily, we could go ahead and divide both of these by, I don't know where that four came from. Let me get rid of that four. You probably won't be able to see it on your screen. So you'll just see this nice 25. I was thinking ahead. You ever do that? So 25 divided by 25, that gives me one. And 100 divided by 25, that's gonna leave me with four. So that's why 0.25 is the same thing as 1 fourth. And remember, you always want to reduce these fractions as much as possible. All right, so we just had this fun little, was it fun? <laughs> Example here. And before you leave, we want you to try this one and reduce it as much as possible. So take 35, let's change 0.35 into a fraction. And we want you to reduce it and leave your comment down below so you can check your answer. All right, Mathletes, hope you're having a great day. We'll see you next time. Peace.